Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Nick from Rise Up Reactions. I'm back with another video today. We got something a little different, and I'll explain everything to you um, right now. So this intro is just going to be an intro. You're going to see me in a different outfit and a little bit different um, time. You can probably tell. Uh, so with the with J. Cole, I recorded three of the J. Cole reactions on the journey in the same sitting, actually. Um, and what I did not realize was that the audio for the video they were not recording the audio. So their, my audio was getting picked up just like it is now. However, when I played the video, the audio did not play. It was just silent. And so I was hearing everything, but the recording software was not recording it. Uh, so that's very unfortunate. I did my best to dub over the audio and it just did not work super well, especially when I was pausing at certain points. It's really hard to sync everything up. Uh, and it would have taken me way longer to do that than um, what I'm doing now. So instead of that, I'm going to cut out the video and I'm just going to give you my thoughts on the song because I still have all my thoughts, my feedback from everything I heard. Um, you might There might be points where I say that was really cool right there and you're not going to know what I'm saying. It used to say I liked all, all three of these songs a lot. Um, and I think my favorite was probably Throw It Up just because it was a hype song. Um, but anyway, y'all can see all three right here in this video. And then, uh, the next song after throw it up will be recorded like normal. So just want to give you all that announcement, but these all three back to back to back. Um, hopefully y'all don't hate me for this, but it's just, it's not worth going back and redoing it because that would, that wouldn't be a genuine reaction. And the fact that I have the, what I'm saying makes it a whole lot easier to just play that rather than if I just had the audio of the song that wouldn't do any good I'd have to re-record it so hopefully this is a happy medium but uh yeah let me know what else I should check out and without further ado here is the reactions hey what's up YouTube it's Nick from Rise Up Reactions I'm back with another video today we got more J. Cole we're on that J. Cole journey today it's school days uh, I'm excited to check this out I got the lyrics on the screen uh, I love listening to these all J. Cole songs and they're always super interesting just to hear where he's come from and just how talented he was back then. But without further ado, let's get it. I already like how school days could mean two different things. School days could mean like you're, you were like, it was like a days, like don't really remember it or like school days, like the actual days. It's like he brought it to like the lunchroom and how, you know, when, when you eat food, you can, like, spit it out. Like, if you don't like a food, you can spit it out. But he said, I'm trying to spit this game. And he's like, I don't want food. I'm going to spit this game. This whole song is kind of, like, going back to, like, remembering the school days and how you were a kid back then. You didn't really care about um, a whole lot. You just cared about, you know, having fun. And uh, it just brings you back. Stuff, man. Talking about, you know. There's all the different, it really is talking about all the different types of people, what, what kids do in school. You know, I know you've, I've heard it at least, and we're going to get to this eventually on the journey, but like a song like Wet Dreams by J. Cole, it's a classic like school story of like, hey, I saw this girl and you know, the song's about, you You can imagine what it's about, uh, but it's just a back in school. And this is kind of the same thing about looking at these girls, seeing them in their gym shorts and you know, all kinds of stuff that, you know, that's what kids do in school, I guess. But, uh, yeah, then that, that line about the kids not making it, it's true, though. Oh, my gosh. I can, I mean, I can't relate to what he's saying. I'll just, I'll be up straight up. I can't relate to what he's saying. However, uh, I went to a very small school um, all the way, really all my life, I've gone to small schools. And uh, I never went to, like, a massive public school or anything. I was just in all small schools. And so I kind of knew a lot of the people in my grade, like most of them. And uh, yeah, when you looked at like people to date, it's like, man, I know all these people. Like it's getting, I can't, I can't date one of them. Like I know all these people already. I got to find somebody I don't know. But anyway, you know what's wild about that to me? It's like, I don't know how old y'all are watching this channel. Uh, 
I was hardly born then. I mean, I was born in 2001. And the fact that J. Cole graduated high school in 2003 is crazy to me because I was hardly even born then. But anyway, that was school days. Thank you all for watching this video, first of all. Um, yeah, just a cool little song rem reminiscing, I guess, about high school and remembering it. Um, kind of wild, though. Kind of wild things he was saying. Uh, but this is like... It's not exactly like the song Wet Dreams, but it just made me think of that because it's kind of remembering back to, you know, when you were in, in high school, middle school, whatever. But, uh, yeah, this is like the the rated, this is like the PG, PG-13 version of Wet Dreams, in my opinion. <laughs> anyway, y'all let me know what you thought. Um, I'm not sure what's next, but I'm just following the order of um, the mixtape so yeah this is school days j cole thank you for watching if you have any suggestions leave them down in the comments or in my google form below thank you all for watching and i will see you on the next rise up reactions what's up youtube it's nick from rise up reactions i'm back with another video today we got j cole back on deck i'm trying to do two of these videos a week from j cole i want to get through his catalog as quick as we can uh just to catch up to this year because i am anticipating an album drop this year from j cole and i want to try to catch up probably not gonna happen but you know if he drops it at the end of the year maybe we'll catch up uh this is darn a dream part one um full transparency i have not released that video that i said i might have released uh because i already reacted to dawn a dream dar in a dream part three because that was on his um well the sideline story i'm pretty sure um that's the name of that album so i thought that was the beginning because that was the first album on spotify that i could find so i reacted to that one already so i have a feeling this is going to be part one of that song so i've already heard dollar and dream part three maybe they're nothing alike but maybe they are so i might have already heard some of these lines or maybe he does different lines for different for the different parts but this is part one let me know what uh, other J. Cole you want me to do. I'm going in order, um, so I probably won't go out of order if you request a song. If you drop something new, I'll get to it right away. Um, but other artists like J. Cole, um, big fan of Jid. Jid's going to be a mainstay on the channel as well. Uh, you should have either just seen or will see soon some J.I.D. or Jid stuff. Um, I know 2007 should be out, and then I have another J jid song that came out before that and then there's another one coming out soon i'm not sure when this is going to be released though so should be three jid songs on the channel by or around the time you're seeing this but anyway without further ado let's get it right to speed i feel like all the time with these early songs on this mixtape or i guess early songs in j cole's catalog all the beats like have people talking in the background like <laughs> It sounds like that to me. I don't know what a, the definition of a mixtape is, but to me, that would be like what a mixtape is, is, where it's kind of not like all the production. Obviously, is not as good back back then as it is now. Uh, so I don't know. Let me know why you think that people are like saying things in the background, saying things about like, "Hey, we're gonna call this Star and Dream." Let me know what that is about. I'm pretty sure this part was in part uh, three as well. I'm I know the beginning part was maybe this part is too. It says lyrics. I don't think there's going to be any lyrics on the screen. We'll go a little bit longer to see if they come up, but I'm not hopeful that these lyrics will be on the screen. I don't know if that was in the other song or not. I can't remember. Y'all aren't going to know what I said because I'm not releasing that song or that reaction. I don't think. Um, but that line was really cool right there. He said, I'm going to eat even if I, that means sinning, which basically means like robbing people and trying to get money to get food. And then he says something about if y'all want beef with me, I'm going to sink my teeth into you like when you're eating. Uh, eating beef, like that's a food, but it also could be beefing between two people. And then you have um, the eating part about sinking my teeth into you. That was, that was fire. Man, that was that was a long time ago too. And he said, pa I, didn't, I thought pause is more of a new term, but apparently J. Cole said it first. Mm. Something about being top shelf, like his stuff is the best. I remember from part three that I reacted to, it was a lot of like saying, I need to find some way to get mine. Um, all he's got is dollar and he has a big dream, but he's got to make it somehow. How is he going to do it? That's the big question. And a lot of people struggle with that. Like 
they don't have much to their name, but they have a dream and you gotta go, you just gotta go get it. I thought that was just, I thought that was just me, but they are, the colors are changing. There could be more to that, but I don't think, I think that's kind of the end of the song. I like there how he was talking about like how he wanted shoes so bad when he was younger, but it, it, they couldn't afford it. And he's just kind of talking about how, uh, how much of a struggle he's been through in his life and how he's, now we know him, he's gotten his way out of it, which I think is really dope um, and admirable that, you know, he's really worked for what he wants. But let me know um, what y'all thought about this song. If you have any requests, put it in my Google form uh, description. My description and my Google form. My Google form is in my description. Um, and put it there or in the comments. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I will see you on the next Rise Up Reaction. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Nick from Rise Up Reactions. I'm back with another video. Today, we got J. Cole again. Throw It Up is the next song on deck. Um, can't wait to see what's up. New, not new J. Cole. I saw New Cole World on the bottom. You'll see in just a second, and I thought it was new J. Cole. It's not new J. Cole. It's old J. Cole, very old. The song's called Throw It Up. Apparently, there's lyrics on the screen. Last time, there was a lyric video. It said it was a lyric video, and it wasn't. So, I don't know. Without further ado, let's go. I like the I like those lines right there. I never sleep. I got them. I gotta get the mills. Like I gotta gotta make the money. Then I never cheat. My heart is with the veil, obviously. Um, I think Fayetteville is where he's from. Um, and then also he called his label Dreamville. So I uh, could be saying two different things right there, but. Uh, I think he's from Fable. Let me know. And shout out Atlanta. Shout out New York. Shout out, shout out LA. Shout out Chicago. Shout out Houston. I'm wearing a For the City shirt for Houston. But he didn't say Houston, unfortunately. Disappointed about that. Um, but yeah, he went to college in Queens. So that's why he said Queens earlier. Get G's like some Disney flick. Because Disney's all rated G. Or it was. I don't think it is anymore. Uh... If y'all seen some of the stuff going on with the uh, old Disney actors and actresses, goodness gracious. Like they just got out. I see H town right here. Hold on. Uh, but yeah, some just, just look up Disney actresses and actors now compared to back then. It's pretty wild. <laughs> the stuff that we've had some Disney characters or Disney actors do. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. Yes, sir. That's me. Shout out H town. What's Go! He said H-Town. I'm happy now. All right, had to drink some water right there. Uh, J. Cole, throw it up. Uh, definitely the most intense song so far, as far as he was talking his stuff. Did I go back? I don't know if I did. Yeah, I think I did. Uh, anyway, throw it up. It's kind of a banger. Uh, <laughs> just kind of a vibey song. He mentioned a lot of different places and a lot of different things. Um, as with usual, as per usual with J. Cole, has some uh, very interesting lines in there, but uh, yeah, it was good. Uh, let me know what I should do next. I mean, I say that every time on these, but I know what I'm doing next. Let me know what other songs I should do, uh, just in general, my Google form in the description and the comment section. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next Rise Up Reactions.